Okay, I'm gonna shade the camera so that it doesn't get hot. I watch the ripples change the size, but I never leave the steam of woman turning. And as the days flow through my eyes, I see the days of the same. And these children that used to dawn, as they try to change their world, are immune to your consultation. They're quite aware of what they're going through. To to change the face to strength, to change it. Don't want to, uh, don't tell them people are up on out of it. To 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 change the face to strength, to to change it. Where's your chain? Your left up to the next man. Can they change me? But you can change the strange fascination. Fascinating me, Changes are changing. The face I'm going to sit at the table and face the strength of the shoulders. Watch out, you rock and roll out. It's just a big heart and face the truth with the shoulders. Pretty soon, that's gonna be older. Time may change me, but you can take that's it, the time may change me, but I can take time. Yeah, that was that was um David Bowie. I was watching something on YouTube with David Bowie and he was um, he was saying that uh, when the Beatles got really popular it made all the Brits feel really good because they they were on top of the world and so that that felt really, really good, really good and then he just kind of I guess he was smoking a cigarette or something and he took a drink and he, you know. It was like the one uh, used to be a great empire, and now it's a small island. But I mean, they'll still, you know, people still remember the Beatles. You know, I think it's sad whenever I didn't see a movie like there was this one. And I don't remember the name of the movie, but it was like Wilhelm uh, Nail and Wilhelm and Nail. No, I and. Wilhelm Nail or something like that. Um, I was watching it. It was just like this is this is really sad, you know. These guys, they're they're kind of like living on their last money, and they're trying to be actors. And one is not like a really very good actor, but has a high ego. Kind of like me. <laughs> yeah. but, you look back to uh, a time whenever things were different, and uh, I'm okay. I'm not struggling anymore, but I probably will be in the future. This is a nice little place here. I wasn't expecting to find this place out here. I was just going to go in my car and go to work. 
I mean, I don't have to go to work today, but I was going to go to work and fix my car and clean the room. So I'll probably just go do that. We need more and more immersive content like that, you know. Uh, good and bad, we need it all. We don't, we don't need any more pornography. There's plenty of VR pornography in the world. But just the guys that are doing the VR pornography, so you might go off and do something else with the camera other than just making porn, you know. It's, it's like so easy to make that stuff, and you're making plenty of money off, so you don't need any more money. Just go off and, and use those cameras someplace else. Do some, something good for the world for things. You know, you got the camera, do it. It's sickening. It's, People just don't, they're so money grubbing, so greedy for money that they're, they're not willing to, to, uh, to do anything for anybody else. I know what it's like, you know. I know, I know what it's like not to spend money on other people. It's like not to uh, try to benefit people. See, what you do is you make uh, these 3D immersive videos like this with your camera, and then you post this stuff up on YouTube, and you don't post it on your under your porn name unless you want to get some good vibes. And people go up there expecting porn, and what they find is environmental videos. So this is how you could transition it away from the pornography into something else. You go to some far off country, you take one of these high resolution stereo video cameras, and you just take surrounding just areas, you just leave the camera out there, you go and you have a smoke, you sit in your car about 100, 200, 300 feet away from the camera, just leave the camera, it isn't like it's going to be a loss if somebody comes along and steal it while you're not watching, but you just videotape the surroundings and you just leave it, and uh, leave it for an hour, or however long you can get it to record for. This thing will do 20, 20 minutes, and 30 minutes on on SHD, which is what the, or UHD, which is what this is. Um, this is not 4K. This is um, twice the resolution of HD, which means um, two times um, what is HD? HD is like two megapixels. So I think 4K is eight megapixels. They they call it 4K, but what they mean is it says it is it's four thousand on one on one axis. It's four thousand by two thousand. It's eight, it's eight, it's eight, it's eight thousand pixels. What it is. Okay. Well, there's a lot of like little bugs out here. And dragonflies. I know birds. Why not tracking birds out here? They put some bird seed. They got birds. And these people are too cute. I mean, you could go down to Kroger and you could get yourself a bag of uh, bird seed, a 20 pound bag for $6. It doesn't, it costs absolutely nothing. It's their uh, savings brand of, of bird seed. You get a 20 pound bag of bird seed for, uh, for $6. If you are 10 or 20, it's just, it's just some crazy amount of bird seed for $6. It's just un, unheard of. And then you just go and you pour it around on all of the grass, just pour it on the grass, nobody will ever see it there, but the birds will, and the birds will go gaga over that, they'll be all over the place, of course you'll get grackles, but who cares, it's birds nonetheless. Yeah. Is it still recording? Looks like it, yeah. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to cool off the camera. I'm standing over here to cool off the camera because these things run really hot. And that's another thing is they need to make fans for the cameras or some coolant, put coolant in the camera so that it remains cool. Because the way they make them, they're, they're, I think they designed cameras so that they wanted people to, um, to adopt them. And they're not going to invest a whole lot in trying to make the things cool or otherwise and until people really start using them. When everybody starts using them, they'll make these super cameras that have coolant inside of them and, and all those other kinds of add-ons. But 
it takes somebody to kind of exploit the technology. That's kind of what I'm doing is I'm just producing lots and 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 lots of really bad VR 180 content. And that probably won't get any better. It'll still be me and I'll still be talking over it. And it'll be annoying and people will be saying, can we just have something other than this guy who keeps making these terrible videos? And that's my aim is to make lots and lots of terrible videos. Um, or good videos, however you can put it, until people are just so sick of seeing the videos up on YouTube. Um, if that can ever be done. Uh, YouTube tends to do a lot of AI and, and try to pretend, uh, protect you from content. Hey, look, there's a, there's a, I have a, oh man, he just went away. He, he was above there and he was looking at me. It was a turtle. He had his, his head up out of the water and he was looking at me well you can't see that that's one thing you can't see with the VR cameras you can't see little things not until they increase the resolution of them but that turtle was up with his head looking at me he's like what are you talking about over there and then I noticed him and he went he went right under the water I wonder if he'll come back. I just had an idea. You know what would be really cool? You know these people that don't have um, families? What if you created a VR, in, a VR environment where uh, it's a simulated gathering of family members so you can give people the, the kind of the idea, maybe the inspiration for having a family. And so you just put kids around them and it's like you, it's like VR grandpa. And so the expression is you've got the camera, kind of like how they're making these VR porn videos, but instead of a naked person, you end up with a person that's well dressed and some kids come along and come and say, hey, Grandpa, how's it going? And, and doing all that stuff and say, look what I can do. And it be all staged. But it's basically just a simulation. It's a it's a piece of performance art, you know? It would require actors. It would require child actors. And you had to do it perfect the first time or the second time or the third time. But you, could, you, you couldn't edit it. That's one thing you can't do with this format is you can't really edit it. Um, adding it ruins the illusion, you know, and so, so you can't produce illusion, you know, you, everything has to be real. That's the reason why Hollywood won't touch this format. It's perfect for pretty much everybody but the people who can do stuff with computers. Um, it's really for everybody, everybody by themselves. People who are actors, people who can play guitar, but you can't edit the video. So you got to play it all the way through, whether you make a mistake or not. Who cares? The mistakes are just as interesting as as the music themselves. Who wants to hear music whenever they can hear you make a mistake? People laugh at you, but they're going to see it a hundred times. Come on, you know. Now what you could do in VR is you can layer on <coughs> 2D content. You can edit the video, but it's disorienting is what I mean. That's, that, it, it's the same video, the output from these cameras is the same 2D video format you get with any other camera. The difference is the image is distorted. It looks like these two fisheye lens views, and that's literally what is recorded. 
and then it is undistorted. It's um, it's rearranged in such a way that you can see it, um, see with both eyes. And I don't know how that works exactly. I think the thing is, is the stuff at the edges doesn't have as much detail, but the stuff in the center has more detail. So um, as you look around the edges of the video, you'll notice there's less detail. There's more in the center. Um, if I put my finger up in front of you, um, then the finger will have more detail than the rest of my body, and that's because the pixels are, are um, unwrapped into the, into the 3D sphere. So what they do is they take the fisheye image and if they like map it on a hemisphere, and that's kind of like undistorting it. But they have the fisheye is not a perfect hemisphere, so what they end up doing is they end up doing some tr some transformations on the on the um, the, the wrapping. Um, they try to make it so that it's still um, correct, but it's um, I mean it's still correct that, that there's less distortion in the image across the image. But it's, um, yeah, so the, the idea is you're taking fisheye video in and you're mapping it onto a hemisphere, which is kind of what's going in anyhow. So that's how it works. And uh, this thing's still recording. Wow, it's like, it's going 30 minutes, I think. This, this is UHD, it's not very high resolution. So. We could turn this around and go, you know, over here a little bit. I might have to, oops, I'm using one of these special, you see the tripod? You don't have to have much of a tripod for these guys. You just have one of these three finger tripods that everybody, that you find selling for five. I found this one selling for five dollars at uh, Office Depot. That's where I got it. So. Oh, it might fall. It's starting to make some motion like it's going to fall. Let's see if I can think of any songs. I got tons of songs. They're just not singing them. I'm a little self conscious right now. Um, let's do a, a nice uh, country hip song. Well, I was cutting the rug at a place called a jug with a girl named Linda Lou. And in walked a man with a gun in his hand and he was looking for you know who. He said, hey there fella with your hair colored yellow, what you trying to do? Cause that's my woman there, and I'm a man who care, and this might be all for you. Mm-hmm. I said, excuse me, dun 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 Well, well, I was... I'm scared and fear and for my life I was shaking like a leaf on a tree. Cause he was mean, mean, big and bad, pointing that gun at me. I said, hey there, mister, I didn't even kiss her. Don't want no trouble from you. And I know you don't know me, but I wish you let me ask one favor of you. Oh, won't you give me three steps, give me three steps, mister, give me three steps toward the door. Give me three steps, give me three steps, mister, cause I'll never see a me no more. Mm-hmm, <laughs> for sure. Da 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 da
Well, the crack did way and I began to pray and water fell on the floor. And I tell you, son, it ain't no fun looking down a 44. He had turned and screamed at Linda Lou. It was a break I was waiting for. And you could hear me screaming a mile away as I headed for the door. Oh, won't you give me three steps, give me three steps, mister, give me three steps toward the door. Give me three steps, give me three steps, mister, and you'll never see of me no more. Mm-hmm, show me the back door. Okay, and that was a Leonard Skinner song. I don't know Sweet Home Alabama. I tend not to learn the songs that um, people like, and the reason why is because they're cliche. Um, they, I've heard Hotel California a million times, so I won't learn Hotel California. I've heard Bohem Bohemian Rhapsody a million times. I won't sing you know, Bohemian Rhapsody. I'll sing songs that nobody's ever heard of, or pe or should have heard of, but they know the bands that sing them. For instance, um, I'll do this. Maybe I'm, we'll try to see if we can do it in this video, and if not, it'll be on the next video. Da, 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 da. I used to be a lover, I used to be a star, enjoy, used to take me dancing just like any other boy, how you found a brand new partner and left me like a broken toy. Da, 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 da. And someone else you're taking, someone else you're playing to. Da, 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 da. And honey, though I'm making, know just what I got to do. Da, 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 da. If I can't have you when I'm waking, I go to sleep and dream I'm with you. Da, 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 da. Oh, take me, take me, take me to the dreamer's ball. Mm -hmm. I'll be right on time, and I'll dress real fine. Oh, you'll love me when you see me. I won't have to worry. Take me, take me, remember not to wake me till this morning, and it's all been true. Do, 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 do. Are you going to take me do, 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 to the dreamer's ball? Do, do, do. I like that. Do, 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 do. Take me, hold me, remember what you told me that you need me at the dreamer's ball. I forgot the rest of the lyrics. I'll meet you at the dreamer's ball. Yeah, there's more to that song than I could actually sing, but if you didn't guess who it was, well, I gave you a hint. It was one of the, it's from one of the bands that I didn't, wouldn't sing in Bohemian Rhapsody. It's Queen, guys. It's from, I don't remember if it's from Night at the Opera or Day at the Races. It's one of the two. Um, I think it's Day at the Races. It was Night, Night at the Opera came before Day at the Races. I think it's Day at the Races. Um, so, I'm not really that good at Queen, I mean, I'm, I'm good at remembering songs, um, but I've got, I've got at least three Queen albums, uh, in my CD collection sitting out in the shed, because I got Spotify, I don't have any reason to actually collect anybody's albums, I've got all of the Beatles albums on Apple Music, but, 
again, you know, you can listen to them on Spotify, so there's not much reason to buy them. Um, anyhow, I think that'll be the end of it for this video. I'm getting kind of sweaty out here.